Hi there, we're going to do this problem, which is pretty involved. Okay, we have to find the inverse of f of x equals 4 to the x power minus 1. This, this is an exponential function right here. All right, the first step we change to y equals 4 to the x power minus 1. Then we switch the x and the y. x equals 4 to the y minus 1. Then we solve for y. The first thing I'll do is add 1 to both sides of this equation. So over here on the left, we'll have x plus 1 equals 4 to the y. Well, now I have to solve for y, and y is up in the exponent's position. What do I do? Oh, my goodness. That's why logarithms are so handy. The definition of a logarithm is that this exponent y equals log base 4 of x plus 1. And there we have it. That is um, what we're looking for. I had to move that off so I could type. All right, here we go. Oh, I guess I just type it, don't I? Okay, log L-O-G. All right, now I need a subscript, base 4. Hit the right arrow key. That brings you back up. Parentheses, x plus 1. Parentheses closed. Now, let's check our answer. Oh, no, it's a quiz. All right, let's just assume I'm right then. Uh, okay, now, first I'm going to graph this exponential function. Then I'm going to graph the inverse, which is a logarithmic function. Okay, now, show you an easy way to do this. Woo! Giant calculator. The wabbit emu that ate the world. Get smaller. What are you doing? I believe in talking to inanimate objects. It can't hurt. I'm going to pause this for a minute. Whew! I thought that thing would never get smaller. Okay. Let's graph 4 to the x minus 1. 4, caret, x, right arrow key, minus 1. Graph. That's not the easy part. The, the part that gets easier is this. If I do second graph, I'll actually get some easy to graph points. Look at this. How about, well, I could pick any one of them, but since this goes through 0, 0, I can't imagine a graph easier. Okay, 
Now, I come over here and I choose the exponential graph, which is right here. And, as it so happens, my graph goes through 0, 0. Now, that's not the accurate graph, but it'll be okay in a minute. We don't have a vertical stretch. Remember hearing about vertical stretch? That was back when we were doing transformations. Well, there is no vertical or horizontal stretch here, but there is a vertical shift. This minus 1 will take us down 1. So, negative 1. Okay. Now, what is my base? Is it E? No, not at all. It's 4. And there is no reflection. We're not reflected anywhere. So this ought to give me a good graph. And I now am going to graph this. OK, so let's bring Wabbit Emu back over here. There he is again, getting big. Oh, well, I'll just leave him there. I'm going to clear 4 to the x minus 1. And instead, I am going to type the following and then, unless, of course, I can find a way to make him smaller. There he is. There he is. Woo! Moving around the screen. Doesn't want to get caught. There you go. Just like a bunny rabbit. A wabbit. Okay. So, here's what I'm about to graph. Log, parentheses, notice the print is already there, x plus 1, parentheses closed. What about the base 4? We're going to do the change of base formula because there is no log base 4 here. So we're going to, 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 that. We're going to take the log of x plus 1 and divide it by the log of x. No, we're not the log of 4. And close my parentheses. And then we're going to graph that. It's not really what it looks like. This keeps going down, but forget that. Let's go to second graph and find us a point that we like. How about, well, I could do 0, 0 again, but let's have a change of pace and go for 3, 1. OK, now I'm going to choose the logarithm graph. And, ah, there we go. So I decided on 3, 1. 3, 1. Click. Now, I come down here. No stretching, but now we have a horizontal shift to the left, 1. Remember, the horizontal shift is always in the parentheses, and it, it moves in the opposite direction from that sign. Now, our base is still 4. And so, I believe I am right here. I wish there was a way to do that, but no, it's a quiz. So the only way to go on is to move this over. Now, if I were to submit the quiz, it would tell me all of them were wrong except number five. Yes. Number five is right. Okay. 
So that's how you do it. Talk to you later.